New information tonight about two water main breaks we first brought to you on wavy.com. The first pipe burst on Shore Drive near East Little Creek Road around 2.30 this morning. A second pipe broke around 5 o'clock on Tidewater Drive. Ten on your side's Joe Fisher has been monitoring the progress in both areas. And Joe, there is a big impact on drivers, or there was all day, right? Yeah, Deanna, roads closed at both locations today. In fact, the southbound lanes of Tidewater Drive are still closed right now. I'm told the two brakes are not believed to be connected, but the work to fix them kept crews busy all day long. The fix up and the cleanup. An all day affair on this stretch of Tidewater Drive in Norfolk. The city says a 16 inch water main busted around 5 Saturday morning. Went and made coffee, no water. Neighbors waking up to the disruption. Came out to get the paper, and the next thing I saw was water all over, police cars. You couldn't see the road anymore. All you saw was water. It was like a river. Tidewater Drive around the problem spot covered in water until mid-morning. Fun only for the birds, not the residents who reported low water pressure for hours. In my bathroom and in the kitchen, water pressure wasn't working. Drivers detoured around the impassable roads. Meredith Schroeder caught the action as it unfolded. The road lifted up. There was probably three feet, four foot of water on Tidewater Drive, blocking the entrance to the church and the three streets. Just hours earlier, around 3 a.m., water shot more than 30 feet into the air on Shore Drive near East Little Creek Road. There's a geyser in the middle of Shore Drive. Norfolk Utility Spokesman Harry Kenyon says crews worked all day long to fix a valve that broke off a main line there. Kenyon says he doesn't know why either of the breaks happened, but he says changing temperatures likely stressed the pipes until they burst. And work on that break causing the geyser on Shore Drive is just about fixed. As for the break on Tidewater Drive, I'm told that was a 60-year-old cast iron line replaced today. Traffic is expected to be moving in both directions on Tidewater Drive when they wrap up their work in just a little bit tonight. Live in the newsroom, I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.